Welcome back to 13 Adventures. This week's video is going to be a kind of a uh, maintenance video again. We, we've made a maintenance video not long ago, but this one is the second part of that. So I needed to get the diesel particulate filter on here replaced. While I was getting that done, I said, well, let me go ahead and upgrade the sync software that runs the radio and navigation system. And I went to Goodwill, bought a used computer, and I used the 4Scan software to make a few modifications to the truck. Stay tuned. Hope you enjoy. And cheers. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, our video is going to be on a few upgrades and a number of other things to the truck. So if you recall a few weeks ago, I had some diesel exhaust filter or diesel particulate filter issues, and we're gonna get that replaced this week. I've also gone on to 4scan, F-O-R-S-C-A-N, got my little adapter here, plug it in the computer, made some modifications to the, to the truck, I'm not going to go into great detail on that because I only made a few, just some headlights and some dinghy bells and uh, some basic things for that. I also upgraded my Ford sync system utilizing my little thumbstick. Uh, very easy process to do. I've got all new maps installed. I have the new sync software that is on the new uh, 2021s, I believe, and this is a 2017. It may be on the 2020 model, but uh, it's way more responsive. Looks pretty great. Uh, I like the new colors on, on the background as well. But 4Scan, I've just changed a few things here. Well, I've already changed a few. I'm gonna change a few more today. So, um, hope you enjoy. So I purchased this $100 used laptop from Goodwill and I have downloaded, downloaded the 4Scan software onto it and upgraded my license. I've hooked it to the to the truck here and now I am going to make a couple of modifications. I'm not going to go into great detail how to do this because there are plenty of people way smarter at this than I am but what I really wanted to delete was some of the dinging bells, the seatbelt chimes, I wanted to turn on my fog lights when I have bright lights on, it's called Bambi mode and a few other of those items like that. So I'm going to dig into this here, again this is not a tutorial. And if you do use the software, there's warnings and bells everywhere. Use at your own risk because if you get the wrong button in there, suddenly you have a <laughs> a brick of a truck. So use at your own uh, use at your own caution, and we'll see how this goes. You can see that it's found my truck. It's found. It's connected, and it's ready to go. So click on here, and depending on which module you need to upgrade. You can click on this thing, hit play, and it will tell you, gives you a warning. I mean, don't screw it up because you can really make some bad choices here and make things to your vehicle go haywire. So please know what you're doing before you do this. But it reads all of its codes and then you get the code. So what you basically are doing is logging in and if I know that 726-0701 is the code I need to change, I go in and click the specific one and change it from a zero to a one or a five to a two or whatever the program calls for, then you hit right and it changes it. So I recommend highly that you create a baseline storage of all of what it looks like before you make any modifications. So I have finished upgrading the truck. Uh, via the 4Scan and the adapter here. It's super easy. You just got to be very careful that you change only the number you need. When you're, when you're done, you need to recheck everything. Turn signals, headlights, radio navigation, everything. Because the first time I tried this, my turn signals didn't work right. So I had to go back and reset it. Second time, I've had no issue since then and everything seems to be operating as advertised. And the 4Scan website 
uh, forum has many, many wonderful tools. That's how I learned uh, myself through trial and error and through learning from others. I let others make all the mistakes first and then I go uh, do not that. So it's pretty easy to set up. And uh, if you choose to do so, uh, hope you enjoy the modifications you make to your truck. I spent the day uploading to my little thumb drive here, the software for the upgrade on the sync. So the very, very brand, most new version of sync on its way to doing hopefully new things. It's currently been moving for two minutes or so, but it took a while to download this today. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what this new sync software looks like on this 2017 model. More to follow. All right, here's the new system, which looks pretty great. Well, here's the video of the new sync system looks different than the last system so i updated the uh, navigation and and the uh, system itself so really excited to check this out it looks much better it's more clean much more responsive than the one was before one of the other upgrades that we made to our truck was the reverse guidance system. It has you make a number of measurements and I'll, I'll show the card here in the video, but you got to have this little checkered plate put on the A-frame of your trailer. I didn't have enough space on that A-frame on this Airstream because the tongue jack and the propane tanks and the shroud around the propane tanks cover up much of that space anyway. So I made myself a little bracket out of aluminum and I used some 3M command strips to stick it to it. It's held pretty well over a number of weeks, but Blair and I made all the measurements. We put all the data in and the reverse guidance shows you when your trailer is getting a little bit too far, uh, when you're turning and so you don't jackknife it. And it also gives you a little bit of steering uh, guidance. Now the 2017 model that we have doesn't have the newest and coolest features like the brand new models have with a little knob. Those things are fantastic. But anyway, it does help someone who is not familiar with backing a trailer. And in some of the tight spots you have to get in for the RV parks, it is very nice knowing that you're you're coming up in the danger zone and you're not gonna jackknife your truck because it, it's really hard to tell that sometimes in a mirror unless you have somebody out helping you out. So that's why we went ahead and installed it. And I wanted to get, mostly because I want to get Blair involved in backing this trailer up and parking it as well. I've been doing this for many years, so it's, it's pretty easy for me, but uh, it is still handy. a very, very, very handy feature. I want to go make pictures look like postcards. I want to go take the train and watch you sleep right in my arms. I want to go where we don't know where we Something high, don't look down and don't look back. Yeah, when I die, I wanna know all this life. I wanna live in wide spaces. Good morning. I have dropped off my truck at Priority Ford and they gave me this loaner vehicle. I believe it's a Ford Edge or Ford Escape. See how I like this thing too. Amanda was fantastic. Uh, she's gonna snap some pictures and whatnot when they're doing the maintenance so I can show all of you. Blair and I picked up the truck from the Ford dealership I just want to say thank you very much to the service department at Priority Ford uh, 
and Amanda, the service writer, uh, excellent customer service, and thank you for uh, your good work. And I would highly recommend them to anyone in the Virginia Beach area.